I just finished up the trailer build. Uh, this is a brand new thing for me, because I've always hauled it in the back of the truck. But I'm getting old and getting beat up and hauling a Hobie PA around uh, and lifting it's getting to be a bit much. So I decided to go with the trailer. So this started off life as a 1998 single jet ski trailer. Uh, it was only the frame, nothing else. Stripped it down to bare, bare metal. Uh, got rid of the axle and the leaf springs. Put in a cross member and a pair of torsion stubs. They're 450 pound. Should be more than enough for this and shouldn't be so stiff that it rides hard. Got some ladder racks on it, some rod tubes. Uh, and just a bunch of other things to make my life a little easier. So he started off up here at the hitch. This is a, a Reese hitch. Uh, and it's one of the ones without a latch because in trailers that I've had in the past for other reasons It's always been a pain in the neck when that latch gets kind of Stiff or corroded or rusty and sticks in this one just locks in with a regular hitch pin uh, The extra wire that you see coming from the seven-point harness is actually for a backup camera that I can run full-time without being in reverse if I want to Regular old trailer jack nothing new to see here. I lengthened the tongue of the trailer uh, by a little over three feet Make it a little easier to back up and so that I could see the back of the trailer when I went spare tire holder Made up a bow stop and a little strap just to kind of keep it tight too Used two inch EMT conduit and that's bolted down to the frame uh, covered with a uh, roofing uh, rubberized roofing membrane membrane that uh, gives me a little tiny bit of cushion underneath the carpet that I have on there. Uh, that's uh, the areas underneath where the scuppers are in here. You can't see them, but those areas don't have that rubber membrane underneath them, giving it just about an eighth of an inch of free play right around for about eight inches on either side of the scupper holes, which is where you typically have issues if you're gonna have a Hobie sitting on uh, steel bunks like this. I have these auto retracting ratchet straps, both front and back. And yeah, I know, I know, don't torque them down too hard, but I torque down my, uh, my cam straps that I've used before uh, more than adequately. These are actually a little bit looser than those and they hold this thing perfectly in place. Uh, I have a ladder rack that I put on. This was just a fairly cheapy from Amazon. I did end up needing a little extra height so I could wet launch with the, the, uh, the seat and uh, some other stuff on board. Uh, so these have been extended vertically about uh, oh, a little over nine inches. And I'm really happy about the fact that the only seam that you see is the factory seam at the top of the uh, thing where the crossbars sit on. The part that I actually extended and welded in there is seamless and you don't even know it's there. Put some new fenders on because this one didn't come with any fenders at all. Um, these were an Amazon fender. Went with rod tubes. These are eight foot six inch PVC. This is actually the green, uh, what they call drainage or sewer pipe. It was a little bit cheaper than PVC, which is slightly more expensive than gold at this stage of the game. Uh, we have the locking end caps. That sit in here, which are not locked at the moment, but these just flap down. And I can get, I know from personal experience, I can get a good six rods in each one if I need to. Standard kind of Amazon LED trailer lighting kit went on here. Uh, but I also added a few little bells and whistles. I have an extra brake light, tail light that goes up on the top. Plus, if you can see it underneath, there's a, a white LED strip that comes on for reverse to give me a little bit extra light since we're setting up in the dark all the time. Coming forward on here, if you look up in this area here, you can see I have amber lights that will also shine down on the inside of this when I uh, need it to rig in the dark, as well as the aforementioned backup camera that sits up there on the front. 
what you can't see and it's a little harder to get a, a look at and I'll see what I can do here but I don't have any axles and leaf springs on here what I have are some torsion stubs and these torsion stubs are uh, 450 pound capacity they're supposed to turn around and uh, have a little bit smoother ride it's like independent suspension on this should make it ride a little easier without bumping around and chattering across the road as we go we'll see once i get to use them a little bit more and see how we're doing uh beyond that that's just about it and uh i don't know we'll see how it works